right, we're back for our second round here. Now looking at electron configurations. Already did orbital notations. Let's take a look at electron configurations. There are a few rules or steps that you might want to jot down. Pause the video and get these down here. But we're basically writing shorthands of orbital notations. So let's jump in by doing some examples here. Our orbital notations, these should look familiar from the previous video, that you represent the energy level and its sublevel, and then the orbital itself, so the 3D space where electrons can be found as a horizontal line, and then the up and down arrows are the electrons with a up spin or a right hand spin and a down or left hand spin. Basically, electron configurations are shorthand of orbital notations. The number of electrons for each sublevel is going to be represented as an exponent. So you will see that here. So electron configurations, again you're going to take your orbital notation as 1s and it has two electrons in it so I represent that as an exponent 2. Next I have 2s that has two electrons and then 2p, which has 1, 2, 3, 4 electrons, so it would be 2p4. So the electron configuration, which is basically shorthand of orbital notation, is going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p4 for oxygen. Neons. Again, if you've written the orbital notation for it already, then you can easily do its electron configuration. 1s2, 2s2, 2p, 6 in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Very simple to do. Let's keep looking here at another example. Let's take a look here at fluorine. Fluorine is going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p, five and if I think you can get aluminum on your own here. What I'd like to do is take a look here at this example that we have before us. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, etc. How can I figure out what element on the periodic table this is? Well thinking about it, I know that the exponent tells you the number of electrons. So if I add up all of the exponents, I can figure out the number of electrons, and I know that the number of electrons for a neutral atom is going to equal the atomic number, or the number of protons, because the challenge balances. So let's add those up. 2 and 2 is 4, plus 6 is 10, 2 is 12, 18, 20, 30, 36, 38, 48, 49, 50, to 54. So that's going to be 54 electrons here. And if I know that is going to be the atomic number of 54 protons which have that positive charge. Check out your periodic table, find an element number 54 on the periodic table and you have found xenon. So we also here have as an example how to figure out what element you're dealing with by counting the number of electrons. Same can be said for if you are given the orbital notation as an example here. So if I gave you the orbital notation, 1s with two electrons, and I said, what element is that? Well, it's going to be 1s2. What element has a configuration of 1s2? Well, who has two electrons? Helium. Atomic number two, that's your element. So again, make sure you are able to do that for electron configurations as well.